So today we have Long Bill with us from the famed company Gensler, and he's going to shed some light on his background and inspirations. So tell me, Long, what key life experiences have formed who you are today? I think my environment had a big effect on me. I grew up in LA County in my adolescent years, and there was a diverse population there. So I was exposed to a lot of different cultures. Um, although there weren't many other Vietnamese people there, it made me think about my heritage a lot at a young age. Um, I didn't always appreciate it as I do now, but I think, you know, traveling is another thing that kind of does the same thing, right? You familiarize yourself with the different cultures. How did you become passionate and involved in architecture? I've had an interest in architecture right out of high school, but I didn't follow through. My understanding of architecture then was kind of dumbed down. It was more like, I like cool buildings and I have some skills like drawing and math, but um, 12 years have passed since then. I'm grateful to have met a lot of experienced people both in and out the field. Um, and they've helped me realize my passion in order to go back to school for architecture. What are your core values and how are they reflected in your practice? My biggest core value is community. I believe in creating works that resonate with as many people as possible, especially the locals of the area. I'm always doing my best to keep the end user in mind. Envisioning this helps a lot, but it would be even better to directly include the community in the design process. But, um, you know, it's easier said than done. It's kind of hard to implement that in a larger organization, but it should be done. What is your design process? I begin by zooming out to the big picture. Uh, I ask myself, what is my end goal? Defining this early on helps me test out a bunch of loose ideas. So I'm always using hand sketches to visualize this because that way I'm, you know, I'm not really married to any one idea. Once I have some direction, it's all refinement through an iterative process. At a certain point, usually when the deadline is looming, you'll know when it needs to be finalized. How do you collaborate with other individuals to realize your impactful work? So our team has been working remotely and I admit there are some difficulties with that, but we've used a lot of online tools successfully like Zoom, Teams, and Miro to share work with one another um, and our clients. So the great thing about this is that I'm able to consult with say a, a branding expert or a software, a software expert somewhere else in our network around the country um, and as someone early in their career, this has been tremendously helpful. Um, Production-wise, there's a lot of dividing and conquering in order to push our designs forward and meet deadlines. How has Peter Zumpler's architectural ideas and buildings impacted you and your architectural practice? To be honest, uh, I haven't really seen a lot of his work, so not very much, I would say. Well, I suppose that's valid. Not everybody has heard about him. What are the biggest challenges you face? The biggest challenge I face continuously is having enough time to do everything um, and buy when it needs to be done. So time management has become an increasingly important skill to have. And I think this rings true, especially in the architectural field. Interesting. What advice would you give a young student? Try everything and do it in an intentional way. This is your time to explore your interests and find out more about yourself. Um, a follow-up to that is to take regular time to reflect on your health, your work, and your goals. It's a little obvious, but I think we forget to truly take the time to take care of ourselves. Bye. Well, thank you so much for meeting with me today, Long. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad that I got to learn some more about one of the great designers of the Phoenix Valley.